identifying direct variation from ordered pairs and writing equations. For each table, determine whether it shows a direct variation. If it does, write its direct variation equation. So we have a table in front of us, and your job is to figure out if it's a direct variation or if it's not. Remember, direct variation looks like this format, y equals some number times x. That's what a direct variation equation looks like. Let me look at an example here to show you what's going to happen in this problem. Let me make up the problem y equals 2x. It's a direct variation equation such that the value of k is 2. And I'm going to make a table for this so we can see what's going to happen here. And let me actually make this value here. Let me turn that into a, show you a little bit more of the work. y equals 2x. That's the work I'm going to do in between steps. And then the answer I get. I'm going to make up some numbers. So let's see 1, 2, and 3. When x is 1, I would get 2 times 1. When x is 2, I would get 2 times 2. And when x is 3, you get 2 times 3. So I replace x in my equation with my x values. And now I'm going to simplify it to see what y equals. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3, you get 6. I can see here my inputs and my outputs. And what we're going to do to check if we're given a table, if it's a direct variation, what you can do is you're going to take the two values, x and y. And I'm going to show you what, what you're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to solve for x in this equation first so you can see what's going to happen. So I'm going to divide both sides by x. And I'm going to get, I can't simplify that. So I'll put y over x. These, my x factors cancel and I get k. If I were to take my y value and my x value, if I divide them out like this order, I should get a constant value if it is a direct variation equation. So let me actually show you for this problem. If I were to take my y value, in this case, which is 2, if I were to divide that by the x value, which is 1, I get 2. If I were to take my next order pair, which is this one here, which is 4, that's my y value. If I put x on the bottom, divided by 2, I also get 2. And then for the last order pair, if I were to take my y value, which is 6, and divided by the x value, which is 3, I also get 2. So if you have a table, what you're going to do is you're going to take your y value divided by x for every ordered pair. And if you notice that the answer you get is always the same, then it's a direct variation equation because that's your constant value. That's your k, your constant. So we're going to apply that to these two problems to see which one is a direct variation and which one is not. I'm going to take for each of these ordered pairs and divide them out and see what happens. So remember, we're going to take the y value divided by x, and you should get some number, a constant for each one, and it should be the same number. So in the first one, if I take 1 and divide it by 2, right, y over x, I get 0 0.5. If I were to take the other y value, 2.5, and divide it by the x value, 5, if I divide these two numbers, again, I would get 0 0.5. And the way I can tell is, look at the top number is half of the bottom number. 1 is half of 2. Same here. 2.5, that's half of 5. So I know that when I divide it, I'm going to get 0 0.5. And then the last one, if I take the y value, 13.5 divided by 9. Well, clearly, it's not going to be 0 0.5, right? The top number was half of the bottom number in each case here. And when I do this one, I can see that 13.5 is not half of 9. So there's no way this is going to be 0 0.5. My answer for this would be it's not a direct variation equation. Let's look at the next problem. Same exact thing. I want to check, is it a direct variation equation or not? So I'm going to take my y value, divided by x, and I'm going to look for some value k. And it should be the same for all of them. So for the first one is 1, x is 4. When I divide that, I get 0 0.25. The next one is 3 over 12. 3 over 12, and 
it's not reduced so I can reduce this I could divide each of these by 3 and that would give me 1 over 4 which if I divide that I know is 0 0.25 and then the last one is 5 over 20 and I could actually divide each of these by a common factor of 5 so this is going to give me 1 over 4 which again is 0 0.25 so I can see here that each one gives me the same exact constant and that means that this is a direct variation equation so I'm going to circle that for my answer and don't forget the equation has to have the format y equals kx where your constant is multiplied with x and in this case my constant k is represented by 0 0.25 so I put down y equals the k value which is 0 0.25 remember we got that by dividing y by x and that gave us our constant and then we put the x value or sorry the variable x so that's your direct variation equation y equals 0 0.25 x and that's all you have to do